Hi everyone. In this lecture, you will learn about different types of starting methods of a single phase induction motor. Actually, the single phase induction motor is not a self-starting machine. If you want to rotate as a self-starting machine, then we have some mechanical construction. And there are four types. So, resistance split phase motor, capacitor start motor, capacitor start capacitor run motor, shaded pole motor. So, these four types are used to make as a self-starting machine. Coming to the first one, resistance split phase motor. Resistance split phase motor means actually the single phase induction motor has a winding. We know that this is a stator winding, this is a rotor part, actual construction. But extra parts are auxiliary winding and switch. I will tell you the purpose of the auxiliary winding and switch. So actually, it, uh, why it is not self-starting? The there is no phase difference between the winding. If you can maintain the phase difference, then it will rotate as a self-starting. So when we compare to the three-phase induction machine, there are three windings R, Y, B. These three windings can make the flux rotating magnetic field, so that there is rotating magnetic field. But here there is a only single winding that is called main winding. So there is no difference of the flux. If we, if we can maintain the difference, uh, I mean phase difference of flux, then it can rotate as a self-starting. So I am adding the external reactance, external resistance plus reactance, I mean external winding that is also called as auxiliary winding parallel with the main winding with the help of switch. So in the starting purpose, I am using the switch when the machine is started the switch will automatically off so the main points are we have to maintain 90 degrees electrical angle between the main and auxiliary winding so there is a single phase supply is given to the machine the current i will flows to the machine im main main current is flowing to the main winding the main flux will be developed in the main winding at the same time when the switch is in closure position the current auxiliary current is also flowing through the auxiliary winding auxiliary means temporary winding so when then auxiliary flux will also produced so these two fluxes will maintain the 90 degrees electrically then uh, then due to the phase difference it will rotates automatically i mean it will it means the rotor will automatically rotates in the uh, in in the either direction when the machine is started then switch will automatically switch uh, off or manually in the off position so it has starting torque of 100 to 200 percent of full load torque starting current is 5 to 7 times of the full load torque full load current so if you observe the graph this dotted line indicates the main winding and this line is uh, indicated the main and auxiliary winding so y axis is torque x axis is speed speed torque graph so without auxiliary winding the speed is zero torque is also zero when the speed attains the torque will torque also attains slowly but it needs initial torque but when compared to uh, when we including the auxiliary winding with the main winding then initial the speed is zero but the, the torque is 150 times the full load torque so the i mean compared to percentage torque so initially there is a high torque because of the auxiliary winding so it will slowly developing the torque and slowly increases the speed then at some time it will when the speed attains to the synchronous speed then torque will be zero position if you observe in the phasor diagram im means auxiliary current im means main current the resultant of two currents is called the final current total current so main applications are fans centrifugal pumps blowers washing machines mm -hmm.